Good morning, ABM and UM students. You all will be given 60 seconds to prepare yourselves for our discussion today. And please also prepare your contemporary arts journal and ball pen for the note taking. Your time starts now. Time's up, your 60 seconds is over. Alright, so this morning we will talk about another lesson, but before that, let's have first our prayer. So I am encouraging everyone to close your eyes and bow down your heads and feel the presence of God. Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our precious and heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity, Lord God, to wake up every morning. And Lord God, thank you so much for the gift of life, the gift of family, the gift of friendship, and the gift of love. Lord God, as we go throughout our discussion today, please give us knowledge and wisdom in order for us to have a good flow of this discussion. And Lord God, we are asking for your guidance and protections to all the family members that we have, Lord God. And Lord God, please keep us safe from this pandemic, from this illness, from this viruses around the globe, Lord God. We also pray, Lord God, to all the frontliners, Lord God, that we have in our country and in the whole world, Lord God, please keep them safe. Lord God, sorry for all the bad things that you have done and committed into you in thoughts and words and in deeds. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, everyone. Once again, I am Teacher John Ray Vitogle, your contemporary Philippine arts instructor. And welcome to your home away from home. School St. Joseph of Ken Laon Incorporated. Alright, so today let's talk or let's have another lesson to discuss. But before that, I hope everybody has is doing good and prepare for this session. Alright, without any further ado, let us start. But before that, our learning competency is discusses various art forms found in the Philippines. So sa ng salita ay ikot laman ang, ang diskusyon natin ngayon tungkol sa iba't ibang art forms na makikita sa ating bansa. Our learning objective today is at the end of the session, you as a student will be able to cite and describe example of different art forms in the Philippines or in the country by writing a journal entry by using reliable data and facts. Again, journal entry using reliable data and facts. Your simple journal entry lab. All right. So today, let us talk about the various art forms found in the Philippines and the notable examples of each art forms. So please prepare dahil kailangan yung lista yung mga mahalagang informations or datos na makikita natin as we go throughout our discussion. Right? So... Let's have first a recap about this diagram. So last time, I've showed to you this diagram. No? Uh, ang diagram na ito ay nagpapakita kung paano na hubog or how did the scening or arts develop in our country from ethnic art down to contemporary era. So sa ethnic art, pa taas sa Islamic, then Spanish era, American, Japanese, modern era, hanggang sa nat narating natin yung pinakatuktok sa uh, contemporary era. Okay, so to make it more deeper to you at para maintindihan, mas lalong maintindihan, 
um, ang lahat ng yon or mga periods na yon or phases na yon sa sining ay or was divided into three the pre-colonial arts colonial arts at ang post-colonial arts so before that ano bang ibig sabihin ng colonial sa Filipino ito ay tinatawag na pananako so alam naman natin class na tayo ay nasakop ng ibat ibang malalaking bansa kagaya lamang ng kagaya ng lamang ng Spain, America, at Japan. Okay, so pre-colonial arts. Dito sa pre-colonial arts class ay napabilang ang ethnic arts at Islamic arts. So ibig sabihin, hindi pa nakarating ang mga mananakop o yung mga bansang mananakop ay mayroon ng sariling sining o arts ang ating bansa. Kagaya na lamang na makikita ninyo sa, ma sa nadalawang larawan yan, ang uh, Manong Guzor sa Palawan, No? Yan ay nakita sa Palawan kung saan ang nasa loob niyan ay mga buto. Okay, so mura sa og kung karon modern naman lungon-lungon ato ay ilaha sa una is jar. So kung naay mamatay dira nila isulod. Okay, and also sa mga kababayan nating Muslim sa Mindanao, they also have the saring manok. Uh, under Islamic arts yan. Okay, so once again nung uh, I want you to put this one in your mind na hindi pa nakarating yung mga mananako ay mayroon ng sariling sining ang ating bansa. Okay, next we have here colonial arts. No? So, sa panahon ng pananako. Okay, so dito na pabilang yung Spanish colonial arts, American colonial arts, Japanese colonial arts. No? Okay, so ang mga arts na ito ay na-develop sa panahon ng pananako. So, alam naman natin no, sa Uh, sa panahon ng mga Espanyol, no? sa panahon ng pananakot ng Spain sa ating bansa, are, they're focusing on religion. No? E, they spread the religion catechism, oh no, the uh, Christianismo sa ating bansa. Kasabay ng pananakot ay um, ipinakalat nila sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo ang relihiyong Christianismo. Kaya naman, uh, sa makikita ninyo, ang Pilipinas ay um, uh, most No, so na mga tao sa Pilipinas ay Christians or Katoliko. Okay, so next is the American colonial arts, no? And by the way, balikan muna natin yung Spain or Spanish. No, so makikita niyo yung iba't ibang ano talaga. We have uh, na influence, no? We're influenced by the Spaniards, no? Uh, this uh, kind of arts no yung mga malalaking simbahan kahit saan tayo magpunta sa Pilipinas mayroon talagang malalaking simbahan at saka yung mga santo okay next let's proceed to the american regime kung saan dito na um, uh, innovations or reformas sa edukasyon so kung ang spain class they are focusing or isa sa napalaganap nila yung kristyanismo sa amerika naman ay itong reforma sa edukasyon no kasi ginising nila tayo upang maging independent uh, maging uh, yes independent tayo okay so di ba sa panahon ng spanish uh, sa panahon ng yes ng mga kastila uh, most of the filipinos ay hindi uh, was this hindi natin nakami yung kalayaan no so sa american colonial dito na tayo mas best. Dito na tayo ah, hinubog. Dito na tayo na-develop na dapat tatayo tayo at nalabang tayo. Okay, so next, Japanese colonial arts naman. No? Dito yun, uh, that, that was, uh, the reason of this arts was from the Second World War. No? Less than five years silang nandito. Pero wala kaayo na-develop na to or we're not influenced kaayo sa kanya sa Japanese during the reign sa Japanese tungod kay World War Money. But then, natuto tayong uh, natuto tayo sa tinatawag na haiko. ba? Diba? Okay, so yung mga tula ng mga uh, taga Japan. Okay. So, also, we also have the, this post-colonial arts. From the Philippine modern arts down to Philippine post-modern arts hanggang sa contemporary arts, no? Saka sa lukuyang panahon. Okay. So, yung modern arts from 1946 down to 1970 yung Philippine postmodern arts naman from 1970 down to 1980 at yung contemporary arts naman is from 1980s hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Okay, so bakit ba natin binalikan yung tatlong yon or yung phases na yon o yung mga era na yon? Because as we go throughout our discussion class ay um, related sa or connected yung mga notable examples natin na makikita nyo as we go throughout our discussion today. Okay, so 
Ika nga nila, it is through art that we can communicate to the world our inner feelings and creativity that only exists within our minds, no? So, yung mga idea natin, no, na nasa, ano, utak natin ay maaari natin ipalabas sa pamamagitan ng arts. So, if you are, uh, kung, as what I've told you before, if you are good in dancing, then you can express your feelings through dancing. If you are good in painting, for example, you are sad and iniwan ka ng GF or girlfriend mo dahil may kulang sa'yo. Ouch! So, you can paint your feelings, no? And that's, uh, in that way, we can express na kung gaano tayo nasaktan, no? Hindi tayo madidepress. No? Kasi, alam nyo naman, mga kabataan natin ngayon, nag-undergo sila ng mga depression. So, kung wala silang ma-share, um, of course, yung iba, nagsusuicide na nga lang. Okay, so I hope walang nagsusuicide sa inyo or walang nagpaplanong magsusuicide sa inyo dahil sa modular na type ng classes natin ngayon. Kaya natin to. Okay, so let's continue. This time, let's talk about the various art forms found in the Philippines. Okay, so this art forms class was categorized or divided into three. First, we have the visual arts, applied art, and performing art and others. Okay, so... Visual art class under nan is yung drawing, painting, sculpture, calligraphy, and photography. Remember that, okay? Next, sa applied arts naman ay makikita natin na ang architecture, fashion, pottery, and jewelry design, and interior design ay, or designs ay, napabilang sa applied art. At sa performing arts naman, ay dyan napabilang ang dancing, music, theater arts, film, pro film production, and literature. So, tatalakayin natin yan isa-isa. So, I hope everybody is ready for note-taking. Alright. So, visual art or visual art. Visual art can be defined as a form of art that uses any medium to represent the artist's idea, emotions, and imagination. Again, visual art can be defined as a form of art that uses any medium to represent the artist's idea, emotion and imagination and first in line is we have the drawing okay so very common na ito kapag nasasabi natin drawing or guhit alam na natin yan okay so drawing is a representation of any art form or object by hand through the medium of pencil pen charcoal and etc so nakikita nyo larawan yan yan ay isang sketch at yan ang example ng drawing. Okay? So, kumagamit siya ng pencil, no? Even pen or charcoal, pwede rin. Marami pang ibang, uh, marami pang ibang, what's this? Uh, marami pang ibang maaaring gamitin when it comes to drawing. And the best example of that is the pe petroglyphs of Agno in the province of Rizal. Okay? So, yung larawan na yan sa ibaba, yan yung petroglyphs of Agno. Okay, so that was during uh, the ancient people. No? So as what I've told you a while ago, may sarili ng sining or arts ang ating mga sinakunang ninono. Ang petroglyphs of Agno na iyan ay makikita sa probensya ng Rizal. O ano bang ibig sabihin ng petroglyphs class? So ang ibig sabihin ng petroglyphs ay ang pag drawing sa bato. Okay, so there are lots of caves sa Pilipinas kung saan may marami tayong makikitang guhit, no? And kagagawan niyan ng ating mga forefathers o mga sinakunang tao. At makikita natin dyan kung gaano uh, anong uri ng pamumuhay mayroon ang ating mga ni Nuno. So, si Bisag Dugoy na kaing panahon na agyak mo sila ibili na to. Okay, so it can be or Yes, mahalagang trademark no? na makikita sa ating bansa. Next in class, aside from drawing, ay mas may makulay pang art form. At yan ay tinatawag na painting. Okay, so painting is the process or arts of using paint in a picture as a protective coating as decoration. Okay, so yung ginagawa natin, yung pinapagawa ko sa inyo soon or ipapagawa ko pa lamang sa inyo soon, ay isang halimbawa, halimbawa ng watercolor painting. Kagaya na lamang ng lips printing, kagaya na lamang ng um, uh, watercolor blowing, cotton buds printing, uh, yes, printing at gabi stock printing. Yan ay uh, ilan lamang sa halimbawa ng painting. Okay, so um, the best example of this is the Spolarium by Juan 
Luna. Okay, so this painting class is sumasalamin sa naging uh, sitwasyon ng mga Pilipino sa panahon ng pananakot ng mga Castilla. So this painting was uh, uh, created during the Spanish regime sa panahon ng Castilla. So marami pang painting na makikita natin sa Philippines. Okay. So next, also, we have another example, the making of the Philippine flag by Fernando Amor Solo. So yung nakaraan, yung scolarium that was the, uh, sa panahon ng Castilla, then ito naman, ang halimbawang ito, ang ma the making of the Philippine flag by Fernando Amor Solo was during the American regime. Okay, next example is the Tiangue or the market scene by Vincent Manansala. Okay, so yan ay mga halimbawa or mga notable examples ng painting na makikita sa ating bansa. Next, we have the sculpture. No? Under pa rin ito sa visual art. Sculpture can be defined as a three-dimensional art form that uses material like clay, stone, or wood for its execution. Okay, so is kultura. And the best example of this is bulol or also known as tinag tinagtago. Okay, so ang bulol class na yan ay sumasalamin no? kung gaano karelihiyoso ang mga sinaunang tao. Hindi pa dumating yung mga mananako. So as what I've told you earlier and a while ago, mayroon ang sariling sining ang Pilipinas. Hindi pa dumating ang mga uh, mananakop o yung mga bansang sumakop sa ating bansa. So, how creative we are, di ba? So, sinasamba nila ito, no? Kaya wala pa may katoli, uh, wala pa may uh, Christianismo at mga time. So, during those period, ay gumagawa sila ng mga eskultura kagaya na lang ng bukol at sinasamba nila. Not even like this, ha? But even the, the sun, the trees, the stones, sinasamba nila yun. Marami pang iba. Kasi that was their beliefs. Okay. So, another example is the Mater de Lorasa by Mariano Madrina during the Spanish regime. Alam naman natin na ipinakalat ng mga Espanyol yung uh, tinatawag natin, or this our religion, of course, our religion, Catholicismo or Christianismo. Not just in the Philippines, but marami pang ina. Okay, so, this uh, Mater Dolorosa class is sumasa namin sa matinding pananampalataya ng mga Pilipino. Okay? We are influenced by the Spain or the Spaniards, no? Na naging katoliko. Okay, another example is the Blazon by Guillermo Tolenten, Tolentino. Okay, so, this um, sculpture class, this product of sculpture is makikita sa Quezon Hall of the University of Philippines de Liman, Quezon City. Okay, but sa makikita nyo yan, yes, ito, ito ay isang replica lamang. And did you know that the true blazon may, uh, created by Guillermo Tolenten, Tolentino rather, is makikita sa UP de Liman Main Library Building. Yes, ang makikita nyo rito, yan ay isa lamang replica ng totoong oblation. Okay. Next is the Sandogo by Napoleon Abueva. Okay. So, this uh, Sandugo class is nagpapakita kung gaano ka-hospitable yung mga Pilipino. How friendly we are, no? Sa pagtanggap ng iba't ibang dayuhan sa ating bansa. Okay. So, dito ay pinapakita ang kultura or the culture of being friendly of our co-Filipinos. This was during the uh, Spanish period. Next, under pa rin sa visual art ay ang calligraphy. Okay, so calligraphy is the art of writing letter in a, mother, in a manner that it looks visually appealing. No? So, sikat hin ang littering sa una. Okay, so um, as what you have seen in the photo, di ba, style kaayo ang pag-iahang pagsulat. No, littering is an example of calligraphy naman din. Okay, so marami pang iba. Okay, so alibata or also known as baybayin. Again, so sa wala pa uh, wala pa naabot ang mga uh, bansang mananakop ay mayroon na tayong calligraphy. And the best example of this is the alibata or also known as baybayin. 
Okay, so during po ni sa atong forefathers, si naana tayo atong own calligraphy. Okay, so I hope you're familiar with this. Kay kani siya na ayos sa grade 5. Mga na siyang gitakon. Okay, another example is the wedding invitation made by one of the famous calligraphy artists in the Philippines, Mecca Sama. You can also have your own design din naman, if you like. Okay, next, under pa rin sa visual arts is what we call photography. Okay, photography is the art of producing an image of an object on a photographic film. Okay, so today, we are already surrounded by different technologies, no? So marami ng iba ibang gadgets, not just this kind of Canon, no? Pwede po tamo use sa atong own yung mobile phone. Muna sa ginatawag ng mobile photography. And watch out because as we go throughout, sa ato ang kuan pazod, ato ang art session, we'll have also our photography. Okay? Then, nang itatag-judge kung kinsay pinakanindot. No, natay top five for that. Of course, grades kaya po nang makuha. Okay, so, di rin natang matingala, nga sa panahon karon daghan na kay example sa photography. Even you, you can be a photographer using your own mobile phone. Okay, so, best example of this class is of course, sa panahon noon, ng no, mga uh, ancestors natin, mga sinaunang tao, wala, hindi pa na-invento yung camera. Kaya, walang nakuhang uh, actual photo. But then, during sa Spain, no, sa panahon ng uh, sa Spain, Spanish era, rather, ay na-invento ang camera. And sa makikita nyo yan, that is the best example of photography sa panahon ng Spain. That is the actual photo of the execution by firing squad of Dr. Jose Rizal, the Philippine national hero of our country. Okay, that was by Manuel Arias Rodriguez. Okay, that was an actual photo. Okay, another example is the Palma Hall and UP Diliman left. Yo, yung nasa uh, Larawan. Ang Larawan nasa left class, that was uh, 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 ipinapakita kung gaano kasimple ang mga uh, mga tao noon. No? So as you can see, yung mga palda nila uh, below the knee. Hindi katulad ngayon, above the knee, oh, above the knee, above, above pa, hanggang naging panty. No, which is not good. So kung i-compare natin sila, mas masarap pa rin balikan yung mga babae noon. Ah, yung comparing naman din ha. Okay na naman yung mga babae natin ngayon. Kaso lang, um, yung iba kasi, hindi na magandang tingnan, no? Kanang mubo na may yung short. It's not good. Nga, Catholic school, biya pa. Okay, next is the Jones Bridge in Manila. Sa right, right portion of the screen. Okay. And the Cebu Fish Sanctuary by John K. Tsua. Sa bottom. Okay. So that are just some example of photography. So sa unad, as you can see, oh, dili pa kay colorful black and white pang nakuha. Okay, next, we are done sa visual art. Now let's proceed to the applied art. Okay, applied art is a form of art that can be defined as art that has practical application as well as functionality. So, maaari siyang i-apply sa ating buhay. At may function sa. Okay. Let's start with the architecture. Architecture is the art of practice of designing and constructing a building. Okay. So, kung sino yung magiging gustong maging architecture soon, oh, mula na inyuhang kuan. Itukod ng mga buildings. Layhan mo. So, some examples rather. Okay, so, these are just some examples found in the Philippines, no? Ng mga architecture. Okay, so, this one, sa right side, is, that was, uh, makikita natin yan sa Cebu. Cross ni Magellan. Okay, yung isa hindi ako familiar, pero, that was, uh, this was during the American regime. Yung nasa right portion ng screen. Ha? Samantalang sa left portion naman ay during the Spanish era. Okay, another example are Gabaldon Buildings left and Manila Post Office Building right. Okay, so this is another, these are another example of architecture. 
and this one, Cultural Center of the Philippines and the Philippine Arena. So, sa kasalukuyan. No, so, the more nga magkadugay nga magkadugay, ang, ang architecture is nagkadevelop nga nagkadevelop. So, nagkanindot nga nagkanindot. Okay, so as you can see, the Philippine Arena, it was too big and large and it can cater millions of people. Alright, next is the fashion design and the arts of designing apparel that are aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. Fashion design involves working with different types of fabric and pattern which are then designed into garments. Okay, no? So, mayroon tayong sariling fashion. Huwag dili takabuot sa tao kung unsa yung isulot because that is fashion. Okay, so sa larawang nasa ibaba, iba't ibang fashion yung makikita natin. No? So as the world, no, magkat, as the time will pass by, the fashion will more be developed. No? So, example of this pre-colonial Philippine fashion. So, sa panahon noon, hindi pa nakarating ang mga mananakot na bansa ay mayroon na tayo sariling fashion. See the photos below? You look at the photos below. Yan ay patunay na nung unang panahon, we have our own fashion. Next, colonial Philippine fashion. Okay. So, din na ito mga barong, mga Amerikana. Okay? So, as you can see, na natin yung barong, mga Filipiniana, mga tuxedo. This was during the American regime. Okay, next, under sa applied arts is the pottery. Pottery is one of the oldest and most widespread of the decorative arts where objects made are commonly useful, ones such as vessels for holding liquids or plates or bowls from which food can be preserved. Okay, so kapong naay mga jar sa una, sa so, naitawagan ng jar, ganun na din ko. So, nang mga naay jar sa una, nga dag ko, kasi ganag tubig, no, madili na kinahangan ni mo o graph, tungod if nakaana nga jar, ibutan ni mo, sa, ang tubig ana is bugnaw na. So, dili na kinahangan nga mag ref ref pa. Okay, so ang colon, no, so dila ta sa magluto, di ba? Nindot po na sa mga type sa pagkauna. So, talagsan na naman ang mga tao kung ang nag-use ang mga colon. And that's an example of battery class. Okay, so best example is the Manongo Zorn Palawan as what I've told you. No, this is the tradition, our ancient people tradition. Kung asa mo ni ilang ginahimong lungon. Instead of lung lungon, ilang ginagamit is zar. Dira na nila ginabutang ang papay. Okay, so ang ilang ginapabuhat ana is sa ipaanod nila sa mga rivers or sa dagat. As you can see, no, kaning nagpungkong duha ka tao dere na na sa symbol okay so once again best of an example of pottery no unang panahon is the manongo jar next is the plant pottery in the present time so low plantito san plantitas no so we have our own pots din naman sa kasalukuyan no which is um lindot na sa improvised na sa mas guapa na siya. But then, mas nindot yung mga traditional sa umang nakagina. Ang hitagit to siya. Gina-display to siya sa museum. Okay. Next, jewelry design. Jewelry design is also a different forms of art and involves the design of the intricate pieces of jewelry from metals, wood, or plastic. Okay. Sa ito yung mga jewelry lover dira. Good luck. Okay, and God bless. So, ayaw po ito, ipasaya-sayain inyong mga alahas, no? Kain tao sa panahon karon, di na lang ko mag-tell. Next, the interior design is the art of planning. The design layout and style of an architectural space, be it home or office. Okay, so sa sulod sa panimalay, no? So, kung layhan mo o space ni Lindod, katawhay, of course, you can be an interior design if you will create your own. But then, kinahalan po yung iskulahan, no, if you wanted to be professional, that kind of professor. Okay, so the best example is inside the PICC or the Philippine International Convention Center or Center. 
So as you can see, this is a big area, no? And as you can see, sa taas, look how creative the interior interior designers. And the sea is given to sa arrange when you sa And that's the job of the interior designers. Okay, next we'll have the performing arts. Okay, so performing arts is, this is the last category. Arts forms, is a forms of creative activity that are performed in front of the audience, such as drama, music, and dance. Of all the different forms of arts, it is much appreciated and enjoyed by people. No, kana mga kanta-kanta, mga sayo-sayo, kana mga theater play that was enjoyed by people, no? Sa katong sa tanan-tanan, sa kabuuan. Okay, so number one example is to dance. Dance is a performing art form consisting of purposely per Postfully selected sequences of human movement. So, ang pagsasaya. So, wala mang guri tao, hindi ka balod, hindi masayaw, no? Bisa kinding-kindi lang sa hawa. Okay. So, again, dance is a performing art forms consisting of purposely selected sequences or human movement. So, ang pangunta na teacher, masayaw-sayaw po na sa contemporary arts? Of course. So, good luck. Okay. So, best example are these dances during colonial. Period. So during colonial period, na natin mga sayo-sayo like tinikling, no? Sa panisya karinyosa. Yes. So that was during colonial dances. And during post-colonial dance, ah, uh, colonial, we also have this post-colonial dance. At dito na develop yung ball group. Okay. During sa post-colonial. And also, we have different colorful festivals in our country. And best example of this is the Ati-Atihan and Dinagya Festival. Alright, so see? Ito yung nagbibigay kulay or one that contributes or it gives color to the Philippines. No, hapit ng sinulog. But then I don't know if nabay sinulog tungod aming uh, sitwasyon na ito. Okay. Next is the music. Music is a form of arts that com combines vocal or instrumental sound to create a composition. So, these are the example. The images below are the example of music. Okay. So again, hindi pa nakarating yung mga mananakop ay mayroon ng sariling. Uh, music ang ating bansa or mayroon ang sariling instrument or instrumental sounds. Okay. So, example of this is the indigenous music or gong music. Now, we have our own gong. Basically, ito ay makikita natin sa Mindanao. Next is the rondalia music. Okay. Kanang mga string instrument that's what we that's what we call in Dalia music and of course the harana and kondima so sa unang panahon sikat pa kayo ang harana I don't know if karon eh, sa unang panahon itong mga babae is mayumi pa kayo anak pa arti arti pa hmm, dalayag ang Filipina bilay karon usa na lang katex Pwede manguyab, oo na yun. Ogma, kimo, after pilaka months, after pilaka days, after pilaka weeks, bata na yun. No? Which is not good. Remember, we're in Catholic school. Next, we have this various art forms found in the Philippines. Another example is, another example of music is the choir music. And the original Pinoy music or OPM, which is Sikat ni Karan. And the kind of mga singers and composers, and in OPM. And also the theater and film, the number four art forms nga belong sa performing art for art. This is what we call theater and film. 
Both theater and film see stories that captures the imagination of people. It also a good form of entertaining. But then the difference between theater and film class, when you say theater play, it is played before the audience in an actual time. No? Nagin sa tubangan. Actual. But then when you say film, pre-recorded na siya. No ka ng mga movies na makita na natin sa cinemas. Diba? That's the difference. Okay, so best example of this is the Sinakolo and Moro Moro. So, sa left, sa, uh, left side sa screen, that's what Sinakolo and Moro Moro ay makikita natin sa right portion sa screen. Okay, so this is an example of a theater. Okay. Next is the Zarzuela sa ubos. An example of Kwan Yapon. A theater play. Alright. Nice. Next, we have here the Philippine movies and cinema. Another example of theater and film. So, film na yun siya. Okay? So, mato na gitag mga sinihan ani para makita lang naman sila. So, see how creative Filipinos are. So, we have our own movies, no? Our own cinema. Alright? And number five is the literature. Literature is the art form of language and words are its tools. Okay, so the best example of this is yung mga novela ni Dr. Jose Rizal. Yun yung... Uh, pinakasikat na literature sa panahon ng Spaniards, no? So, if babalikan natin, if balikan natin, rather, uh, yung mga nobelang ni Rizal ay tumatalakay, no? Sa kung gaano kasama yung uh, gaano kasama yung mga Spaniards noon sa atin. Pero hindi lahat, ha? Okay. So, these are his novel, The Noli Metangere and El Falibus de Rosa. That's the best example of the literature. Okay, so, see you next session class. I hope may nakuha kayo or may natutunan kayo sa ating diskusyon ngayong umaga. And I hope na nag-take note mo because after this, or maybe I'll post the short evaluation or short quiz this at night, karong tonight, rather. So, thank you so much for watching, and see you next session. Be updated na lang po sa ato ang mga informations nga i-post na to sa ato ang Google Classroom and chat box. So, God bless. Once again, I am Teacher John, your contemporary Philippine arts instructor. One school, one victory, one is JCCI. Good morning and God bless.